G'day. My name's Nathan Linzel, and welcome to episode number 22 of the Fine Art of Distraction. So, with today's episode, I'm going to be doing something that I've never done before. I haven't even done a practice run. So, wish me luck, because I'm going to need it, because I'm jumping right in the deep end and going for it. <laughs> But before I tell you what I'm going to be doing, I have to show you the dry result of last week because it turned out so cool. Check out this. How cool is this? That is insane. And you might remember uh, last week that I was saying that the black sort of looks blue because of the pouring medium. Well, I did say that it'd dry jet black and well, there you go. It is jet black. And the gold is so rich and vibrant. And this thing weighs a ton. That's why I've got it on my shoulder. <laughs> and if I go to hang it on the wall, I'm gonna have to support the wall because yeah, this thing weighs a ton. <laughs> it probably weighs about five kilos, so yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so happy with how that turned out. You! Alrighty, so what am I gonna be doing today? Well, I'm gonna be using alcohol ink to hopefully turn this glass vase into a wood grain glass vase. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to be using one color of ink to turn this into a wood grain vase. Well, I hope I do. <laughs> I've seen it done on YouTube um, quite a few times, um, but the person that I um, got the most inspiration from was Amber Johnson. Um, yeah, the way that she sort of um, uh, done it and, and explained things was just like perfect to watch. So I'll link her video in the description um, box. And yeah, certainly please go check out her channel because yeah, she's got some really, really cool stuff on there. So thanks Amber for um, inspiring me to give this a crack. <laughs> Also, you might remember me saying last week that I think I broke my microphone. Well, stupid me <laughs> didn't realize that, well, before I say, well, this is actually a wireless microphone and a wireless microphone actually needs a receiver to basically receive the signal from the microphone to then send it to the camera. Well, I didn't realize when I, each time I was turning on the receiver, that I was actually turning up the receiver as well because the the volume bottom the, the volume button is actually on the bottom of the receiver and the the, the on-off switch is on the top and I was basically pressing it down like that and turning up the volume every time I was turning it on. So when I went to use it last week, it was like going and it just sounded so terrible and I was like, no, I've broken my microphone. It just turns out I was stupid. <laughs> so yeah, so I, I'm, I'm cheering that I, I was able to figure out um, how to fix that. And yeah, definitely saved a lot of money. <laughs> Alrighty guys, now that I've told you what I'm gonna be doing today and I showed you the dry result and also told you how stupid I was about my microphone, <laughs> let's head over to the table. I'll show you what products I'm gonna be using and then yeah, we'll get into it. Thanks guys. Alrighty then. So here's all the products we're gonna be using today. And as you can see, it's a lot different to what you're normally used to seeing. <laughs> well, firstly, we've got a vase. Secondly, we've got a cup turner. And thirdly, we've got spray cans. We never use that sort of stuff, but I'm excited to use it. You! <laughs> so what you need to do with the vase, because it's actually a, a smooth surface, you actually need to prep that surface for the actual paint and all the other stuff to bind to it. And how do you do that, you ask? Well, you get a sanding block or even just sandpaper and scuff up the surface. You don't have to sand it back to buggery. All you're doing is scuffing up the surface. So then when you actually apply the primer, it actually has something to bind to it, okay? But after you've actually sanded it back, you need your isopropyl alcohol 91% or up. 
don't waste your money on getting anything below 91%. Um, I'm using 100% um, isopro alcohol. Um, so yeah, so after you've sanded, sanded or scuffed it up, then spray it down with isopro alcohol and then give it a good wipe down with a paper towel. Let it sit for a little bit. Then you can actually apply the primer, which is Rust-Oleum 2X Ultra Cover Paint and Primer, okay? Now, it's, it's a good idea to do about three, two to three um, coatings of the actual primer, um, just depending on, on how much coverage you get with, with the first two um, sprays. You might not need a third one, but yeah, so you need two to three coats of the primer, okay? Once you've got the primer down and you let that set for, for at least six hours, then you can actually start using the alcohol ink. And I'm using Pinata Havana Brown, and you also need a paintbrush, okay? And you're basically painting down, up and down, up and down, and all that sort of stuff, okay? You definitely should be wearing gloves with this process because alcohol ink is very messy. <laughs> but not only will you need the gloves for the actual um, alcohol ink side of things, you will need it for the resin. And the resin that I'm using is actually from Nor Glass and it's called Liquid Glass. Um, yeah, this particular resin is actually specifically designed for craft, so I won't need to wear a um, respirator while using that, okay? Once you've actually done um, the artwork, so to speak, then you need to actually coat that before applying the resin. And you actually need to use, um, you can either use matte or gloss, but I'm using matte. So I'm using Dulex, Dura, Max, <laughs> um, matte clear coat, okay? So yeah, so once you've done the alcohol ink side of things, then give it a coating of the clear coat. Let that set for, for at least six hours. Then you can come and do the actual resin side of things. Um, you will need your um, torch or a heat gun um, torch is probably be better for this one because you, you're needing the torch to actually get rid of the bubbles. Um, you can use alcohol ink to get rid of the bubbles, but for this process, because um, it's on a cup turner and it's continually spinning, um, it might not be a, a, a good idea to use isopro alcohol to get rid of the bubbles because you, you don't want to disrupt the, um, the resin. You can use isopro alcohol to get rid of bubbles when it's on a flat surface and that resin's not moving, but the fact that it's going to be moving constantly, it's probably better to actually use the torch. Okay. Alrighty. Now that I've gone through all the products that we're going to be using today, I'll clear off all of this. We'll start prepping the, um, the vase and then we'll get into it. Thanks guys. Alrighty then, so what we need to do first off is actually prep the vase. And what I mean by prep the vase, I need to prepare it so it's actually able to hold colour. Because if I don't prep the vase, the, the ink will actually just sort of run off and it won't sort of stick and it won't look any good. So I need to actually do a coating of primer paint first um, and then I can actually apply the the colored ink but before I can actually add the the primer I need to prep the vase for the prep <laughs> and what I mean by that is I need to actually scuff it up like give it a bit of a sand um, so then it actually has um, a, a good binding area to actually apply the actual primer. So I've just got these are semi new. They've been they've been out for a while, but it's basically like a, a, fo a hard foam um, sanding block, or you can use sandpaper. Now I am using very very fine 
um, grit because you don't really need it to be extremely coarse. Um, so yeah, so I'll get started. But first, I'll just take this little sticker off. There we go. And while it's upside down, I might as well start on this side. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's like gone all frosty now. And that means that it's all been scuffed up. So now what we do give our hands a bit of a spray with isopro alcohol just to get rid of any stuff on it. Now We get some paper towel. And now we, we need to get rid of all of the oils from your hands off the glass, because otherwise the primer and also the resin won't stick to it um, if you've got oil still on there. So, Use 91% or up isopro alcohol. So I'm using actually 100%, um, but anywhere from 91 and up is perfect. Don't get anything below 91, because you're just wasting your money. <laughs> Alrighty, so now just give it a, whoop, a good spray. Now, I'm sorry if this is going to look perverted, so... <laughs> There's really no way to make this look, like, not perverted, so <laughs> I, I, I truly apologise. We get our cup holder and plop it in there like that. Now this vase is actually quite heavy so on the actual cup turner um, it is going to be sort of laying on an angle. Um, yeah normally with your cup turner, you want it to be nice and flat, but with this being so long and heavy, um, all the weight is gonna be on this end and it's literally only ho holding up on that side. So, yeah. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I can't do anything about that. <sighs>
Okay, now with this, um, because it's actually liquid um, paint and primer, you need to give it a really, really good shake. Okay, now when applying this, you don't want to um, be up close to it. You actually want to be about 25 centimeters to 30 centimeters away and sort of just do very, very light sort of um, sprays. And, and, and don't leave your finger down on it. Just sort of go, do like sort of little squirts like whoosh, whoosh, like this. Don't forget to do the bottom as well. Okay, so now I'm just I'm just looking over it just to make sure I've got a nice um, surface over the whole thing. And it's looking like I've got everything. So I'm just going to let that continually spin um, for about half an hour or so. Then I'll come back and I'll do another coating. Wait another half an hour and then I'll come back and do one more in about another half an hour after that. And then I'm going to let it completely sit for about three hours just to make sure that it's completely set and then I can come and start playing with inks. Thanks guys. Alrighty guys, so we're back here to do the second coat of the primer paint and it looks like it's dried really 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 nice and and it's got good coverage. But yeah, so, I mean, even that looks fine to, to sort of do. I mean, I wouldn't know. <laughs> As I said, this is the first time I've done it, so it's all, all new to me. But I think I might just do even just one more coat. But we'll see how that one more coat goes. All right. So again, we shake it up really well at a distance of about sort of 25 to 30 centimeters away. Just do long whoosh, sprays, like not, not holding it down long, like long stripes. <laughs> All right, so let's shake it up. All right, let's go. So I was just concentrating on, on the bottom end because I noticed that when I started up this end, I was sort of lifting up and away as I was getting down to the bottom. So I was like going up like that. Yeah, like that. So yeah, so I just done a little bit more on the bottom. And while I'm talking about the bottom, don't forget to, to get the bottom. Yeah. 
Okay, so now I'm going to let that sit for another half an hour and I'll come back and have a look at it. I actually think that maybe even two coats will be enough rather than three coats. I'll, I'll, I'll see you when I, when I get back in half an hour. But yeah. Alrighty guys, so I've just come back and I'm having a look at it and I'll tell you what, it's actually got great coverage. I'm not seeing any sort of bits that are lighter than others. I'm not seeing any sort of blotchy spots. I'm not seeing any sort of runs. I think we're right to go. You. So, we'll get out the alcohol ink and we'll start going. <laughs> So we've got both cameras going now. And so basically what I need to do is with the alcohol ink, basically just run a line down it and then simply just brush, brush it all down. And then um, as it sort of dries, then you do like another coat over it and then that'll actually bring up the different accents of the actual wood grain. So, well, I hope that's how it works. <laughs> Alrighty, so um, I guess let's get into it. Oh, I'm actually nervous. Ah! <laughs> Alright, wish me luck guys. Actually, actually, I have to stop it as well. <laughs> I didn't think of that. Hang on, I'll wait for it to come back around.
Guys, I think we're done, eh? Yes, 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 
yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes. Oh my god, this looks sick! No way in a million years I ever thought that I'd be able to make a wood grain glass vase using one alcohol ink. One! I just used one colour. I'm doing the happy dance, doing the happy dance, doing the happy dance, doing the happy dance. <laughs> that was my happy dance. <laughs> I can't believe how sick this looks. I've got to get you down for a close-up, eh? This is sick. How awesome is it, eh? There's one of the knots. I love that bit in the middle there. There's the other knot. I'll show you the bottom. You want to stop shaking? Guys, I am stoked. How wicked cool is this? Alrighty, so what I need to do from here is I'm gonna let that sit for at least six hours. I don't know if that's the time frame but that's how long I'm going to let it sit. And then I'm going to spray it with this, which is a matte clear coating. It's a, it's a spray bottle. So I'm just going to spray it with matte, matte clear coating. And then I'll let that sit for another six hours. And then I will do a resin coating over the whole thing but guys how awesome is this it is so wicked cool that is so cool i'm i I can't believe I did that. <laughs> All right, guys. So as I said, I'm going to let that sit for about six hours. Then I'm going to come back, do a clear coating of this. 
let that set, and then finish it with resin. All right. Thanks, guys. Alrighty, so it's about six hours later, and I'm just about to spray just the coating of the matte clear coating on it. So this will take two seconds, then I'll come back tomorrow and resin it. <laughs> Okay, so so applying the um, the clear matte coating is the exact same process as applying the the primer coat. You hold the the can about twenty five to thirty centimeters away from the actual vase and just do light squirts like this. Now I'm just making sure I've got it all. Alrighty, I've got it all. So I'll back, come back tomorrow. It'll be two seconds for you guys. Better be 12 hours for me. All right, thanks guys. Alrighty guys, so it's actually the next day and oh my God, this thing looks so real. Check out that. How incredible is that? I can't believe it. <laughs> oh my God. Like even the bottom looks wicked cool. So you know what I gotta say. Yeah! <laughs> this is wicked. I absolutely love this. It's actually really smooth. Oh my god! Like I'm so happy with this. <laughs> so what I've got to do next is actually do the resin coating over the whole um, surface and also the bottom. Um, even though I've sprayed it with the, um, the matte clear coating, um, I just want to put a resin coating over it just so it secures everything and it, it will never um, scratch away or anything like that because it'll have that resin coating so yeah so the resin will just basically protect it forever but oh my god I am like so impressed with this also by putting a resin coating over it if I was to drop it or anything like that it'll actually protect it because at the moment, this, I mean, it's glass, so there is a chance that it could break, but having a resin coating over it will actually um, give it that protection that it'll last forever. So, and I want this to last forever because look at it, it is wicked. <laughs> I can't get over how real it looks. All right, so I'll put the phone in the cradle and then we'll um, start mixing up some resin. Thanks guys. 
All right, guys, it's the next morning, and oh my god, this thing looks wicked cool! <laughs> Yahoo! Um, even though I've already done one coating of the, um, the matte clear coat, I, I actually just want to put one more on before I um, put the resin on, just because I don't want this to get ruined, because I love it so much that I'm worried that I might not have put enough of this clear coating on. And if I put resin on it, um, if I didn't put enough coating on it, what's gonna happen is the alcohol ink will actually reactivate and start to run. <laughs> so I don't want that. So I'm just gonna do one more coating of this. Then I'm gonna let that dry for a, six hours or so, and then I'll do the resin um, coating to, to finish it all off. <laughs> Alrighty, so remember, when using a spray can, you have to shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, heaps, because you don't want any of the liquid inside to get um, clumpy, uh, otherwise it'll actually block the little hole and, and, and you'll waste your can, so Make sure you shake it up really well, and it also it it mixes all the product up really nicely as well. So, alrighty. So remember, you need to hold it about twenty-five to thirty centimeters away from the actual vase itself. And then just do light, light squirts in, in a long fashion. So. And don't forget about the base. All right, now I just want to go over it again. Now you're probably wondering about this bit just here. You're probably thinking, oh God, he's got like spray all over the bit that's actually holding it up. It's gonna stick eventually. Well, <laughs> I actually thought of that already and I actually applied some um, silicon oil um, just to it, just on there. So then as it's sort of rotating around, it's actually getting the oil on the actual part, so it, it won't stick. You! <laughs> Prevention is the key, my friends. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm gonna let that sit for quite a few hours, just to make sure that that actually sets really, really nicely. And then I'll come back and do the resin coating. All right, see you soon, guys. Alrighty then, so we're going to do some resining now, and I've already done a, a couple of resin videos, so I'm not going to do like a full tutorial on, on this resin, because literally I'm only mixing up roughly around about sort of 70 mils anyway, so, or 75 mils. Um, so yeah, so I'll just quickly mix it, and then I'll apply it. Thanks guys.
happy then. So I've mixed that up. It's mixed up for about five minutes. And uh, now I just got to let all those bubbles actually pop. Um, let the, the chemicals within the resin um, react with each other. Once it actually starts to warm up a little bit, that's when I know that the actual chemicals are actually starting to bind. Um, and then I can actually apply it to the, the vase. So I'll come back in about 15 minutes and hopefully that's all bubble free. Thanks guys. Now, I really hope that I've put enough um, um, clear coat I hope I've put enough clear, clear, clear coat on that because I'm about to put resin on it and yeah, I don't want the resin to then react with the alcohol ink and, and make it run. So I'm really hoping that I've done it right. <laughs> All right, it looks nice and dry. All right, I guess no time like the present, eh? Basically the idea of the actual cup turner is so basically it's continually um, rotating and then it, it doesn't um, allow the resin to actually sit in one spot because if I was to stand it up it's all just going to sort of run to the bottom um, or if I was to stand it up the other way it'll run to the top. So the, the idea of actually putting it on a cup turner it basically um, doesn't allow that resin to sit in one spot. So then um, by the time it actually dries and cures, it should be completely covered. And also um, there shouldn't be any sort of um, like bulging sort of um, dribbles and all that sort of jazz. So, well, fingers crossed that that's what happens. <laughs> Just seeing some little bubbles pop up. This is so cool, guys. Alrighty, I think I can actually take my gloves off now because it looks like it's all pretty much all covered. And even if it's not covered, I can actually go back and do a second coating of resin. Um, I'd prefer it if I didn't have to. So fingers crossed that it actually works first time. Alrighty guys, it looks like I've covered it all in resin and I can't see any sort of um, dry spots or it bubbling anymore. So I'm going to um, turn the cameras off and I'll come back in about four hours and, and hopefully 
um, it hasn't changed. Because <laughs> I'm really, really, really hoping that the um, that the clear coat actually done its job and, and it protects the actual alcohol ink because I, I'm so happy with how this turned out and I don't want the resin to actually affect the actual alcohol ink. So fingers crossed that it actually stays how it is. <laughs> All right. So it'll be a couple of seconds for you guys, but it'll be about four hours for me. So see you soon. Alrighty guys, we're back and I'll tell you what, it looks perfect. <laughs> Let's turn this bad boy off and uh, get it off here. Look at that. It is amazing. It even like got the little dibbit thing. And I'll come over the other side so I can see what I'm actually filming. <laughs> I don't know if I don't know if that can pick it up, but see how it's got the little indent indentation of the bottom. See by having it on the actual cup turner, it allowed it to actually get that indentation. Yeah, I think you can see it there. Yeah. But how amazing is it? This is so cool. <laughs> I am like, ah, oh. <laughs> words can't express how amazing this feels to actually create this. Actually, there is one word. Yeah! Well, it's actually two words. <laughs> wow. This is like my finest work, I think. Like, oh my God, like. So, um, I'll point out this bit just here for a second. So, I actually took this off a little bit too early. <laughs> um, so, when I took, I actually took this off like two days ago. Um, and when I took it off, I didn't realize that, like, I was leaving fingerprints, okay? And I didn't actually realize that the resin hadn't cured properly and the fingerprints that I was leaving weren't actually fingerprints um, that I could rub off. They were actually imprinted into the resin. So I actually had to sand it back ever so slightly. Um, but when I was sanding it back, I actually sanded the top a little bit too much and it actually left a white ring. So what I actually did was I got the sandpaper block, the soft sandpaper block, and I'll just reach over and get it. Okay, so what I mean by the soft, see, that's a soft sandpaper block. And I basically, I don't want to do it on there because I've already done it, I'll do it on this. So what I basically did was I pressed down as hard as I could so it was the same the whole way around and then sanded it the whole way around like by pushing it down like that 
And then that actually left a perfect, absolutely perfect ring around the top. So then I could actually go over and actually do the final resin coating. But I'll tell you what, it was a happy accident because I actually really love how that top turned out. It, it now looks like it was store-bought. Like, you know, it, you know what I mean? But like, because it's, it's got like a perfect finish. I'm trying to I'm trying to get the perfect view for you, but yeah, but guys, <laughs> I am so happy with this. Yeah! <laughs> All right, guys. I'll tell you what. I've had probably the most fun I've ever had doing any type of art creating this because the outcome of this is just absolutely beautiful and I absolutely love it. So guys, if you like what you saw, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed and you feel that like, hey, this guy deserves a subscription, please hit the subscribe button. And then also hit the little dark bell. That'll indicate when I actually upload a new video. Um, and also, if you think any of your friends or family might like to see this, please forward it on to them. I I'd love for them to have a look at it as well. <laughs> All right, guys. Wow. I I I'm, I'm blown away with how amazing this actually turned out. So, uh, yeah, once again... Thank you so much for joining me on this episode. This is the fine art of distraction.